I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Good morning. Good morning. It is a joy to welcome you with this morning um, as we start our new year couple of announcements a lot of new things going on so the youth group will start their new year next Sunday January 9th so all youth are invited to socialize share and eat the uh, sesquicentennial celebration and blessing ministry kickoff fundraiser for this Saturday has been postponed Um, the committee will meet this Tuesday at 430 so we will decide when to reschedule that Uh, Next Sunday, January 9th, remember our worship service is at the Wallace House for our throwback worship service, Um, so we hope you join us there. Trustees will meet Monday tomorrow at 5 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall downstairs, and choir practice will begin back up this Wednesday at 6.30. Let us be in an attitude of prayer as the acolytes bring the light of Christ into our worship service. Thank you, ladies. If you would please rise, we will uh, start our worship in song with Angels from the Realms of Glory, verses 1 and 4. Yeah. 
Heavenly Father, we gather to worship you this morning, to give you thanks for your glorious gift, the gift that gives us eternal life. Pour out your spirit on those gathered here in person, as well as those worshiping from their homes. We ask this all in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Number 526. <laughs> be seated. Um, it is time for us to share our joys and concerns. Um, we have birthdays to celebrate this week. Um, tomorrow, Donna Lane and Vern Cornelius are birthday twins. The seventh is Mary Lewis, and the eighth is Matt Hammonds. Are there any other joys we would like to share? It is 2022. Happy to be a new year. I think the uh, the big Facebook meme I saw was um, instead of having a big party to throw out the new, welcome in the new year, everybody is quietly escorting the old year out, making sure it doesn't come back. <laughs> um, for prayer requests, uh, I ask that we keep Stan Sullivan in our prayers. He lost his mother this past week. Are there any other requests to bring forward? Joyce? So Joyce's great niece has been diagnosed with breast cancer. We will keep Stephanie Imes in our prayers. Dean? Unspoken prayer requests. Are there others? Let us go to the Lord in prayer then. Heavenly Father, you loved us so much that you sent your only son to pay our price for our sin. For this, we give you our unending love and our admiration. What a friend we have in you indeed, for you to carry the weight of all of our sadness, all of our sickness. 
Father, we lift up these people mentioned here, those that are grieving, those that are dealing with sickness, to your care. Because your care is the only touch they need, your healing hand in their lives. We lift up all those unspoken requests, not just the one mentioned here, but on those weighing on our hearts everywhere throughout this world, that as we continue to deal with the sickness and death around us, that we remember you gave us the font of everlasting life. We pray as you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Um, Pastor Todd is enjoying some uh, well-deserved family time. Um, I think he said he traveled to Indiana to be with his eldest son and his family there. So we wish him safe travels and a nice relaxing and enjoying time with family. So rather than um, prepare a sermon, we get a few chances every year to do a hymn sing. So we will just take requests from you as to which hymns they are. We have to do it the old school way to actually get the hymnal out because we don't know what you're gonna pick so we can't put it up on the screen. So who would like to go first? John. 451. 451. Yeah, John's favorite hymn. Um, so for this, and so we can get through as many hymns as possible, let's just do first and last first on all of them. That's a good one. Hmm. We didn't think about that. They wouldn't have the words for it. For the second. Um, I, yeah, I think first, and some of these hymns are so short, I want to do them more. Mm -hmm. uh, Joyce, you had your hand up first, I think. Which hymn would you like? 452, next page. My faith looks up to the first and last.
See, I saw several hands while I go. Jill? 431. We're liking the 400s. Only one verse. <laughs> in the red hymnal. This is from Marsha Bailey on Facebook. 733. Ooh, marching to Zion. First and last. Softly and tenderly, first and last. Yes. 
707. First and last. <clears throat>
Cheryl? Two sixty one. And this is she's gotta sing nice and loud. And this is one that I think we need to do all the verses on. It tells the story. Twenty twenty five in the black book. Isn't it funny when you're turning hymnals? If you turn one page, you never seem to get there, but if you turn three or four pages, you're a hundred off. Um, we can do this one twice. Oh, my soul longs out. 
strength, my shield, to you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longs Four forty three, one forty three, one four three. I think we can do this one twice too. Yeah. God will. Is there one you would like to do? Um, it's spirit song, but I can't find what kind of thing it is. Spirit. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So you know I've taught elementary music too long because when something like that happens, I go to uh, the Wonder Pets. What's going to work? Teamwork. <laughs> only, only someone younger than 20 will know what that means. Sadness, 
give him all your years of pain, and you'll enter into life in Jesus' name. Jesus, oh Jesus, come. I think that is a wonderful place to stop our hymn sing and respond back in faith as we give with our tithes and offerings. Heavenly Father, you have given us the gift of everlasting life. In your name, we are secure in that faith. You own everything. You've created everything. You've given us everything. We give back this small portion. Please bless these gifts and use them to further your word so that your kingdom may come on earth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now we respond with our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended to heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father. Just a quick mission moment. Um, we will be meeting Tuesday the 4th, 
to kind of uh, put together some things that we have. All of um, We have almost all the donations for our blessing bags. So we'll be discussing other ministry and things to go. So if you have ideas or suggestions, please join us. 4.30 this Tuesday. Our sending hymn is Here I Am, Lord, number 593. I, this Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. people that aren't musicians or regularly play with music, I just want to say thanks to Joyce and Leslie. Um, when you're jumping back and forth from different songs and different things and the key signatures constantly change and those fingers have to find different places, but they really do a great job following us along. So thank you guys very much. So now we've sung joy to the world and as we start our new year, I heard an acronym that makes it really simple I wanted to share with you guys. So bring joy to the world. If we put Jesus first, others second, and yourself last, we always have joy to the world. So go forth and spread joy throughout the world. Amen.